is for? What do you reckon? A friend of mine has lent it to me, but he said I can keep it if I really like it. It's, uh, he didn't know what it's for, uh, so we called it a what's it. And we puzzlers love finding things which are old instruments from 100 years or more, which had a purpose that's long been since forgotten or it's been superseded. We have an idea of what it is, and we'll leave it for you to think about when I'm showing some other things, and I'll come back to it at the end. But just to give you a few clues, it's got a, a little hook there, a very old hook, for putting on and nail it onto the wall of your log cabin or something. It's probably, it might be, easily be the 1920s or 1890s or something, but it's got a very purposeful looking handle and uh, this funny wheel thing turns out, which are fairly sharp, only semi sharp. And you turn it and turn it. What on earth is it for? Well, have a think about it and see what you come up with and then compare it with what we speculate. We're still not sure about it, but we've got an idea of it, so we'll come back to that. So these are items which I've picked up recently, some of them on loan, but most of them are gifts actually for my collection. This is a very charming one, which is also something with a hook. There you hang that on a, on a nail too, but probably on the front door because this is actually for holding letters. What a charming idea. Let me show you what it does. It's all been cut out and it doesn't sort of come apart because it's joined with little things that hold it together like that. And there's a space there, a little shelf behind the little woodland scene, which is very nice, and that's where you put your letters, it's sort, possibly. Have that on your front door or somewhere like Bavaria, you know, where they might have this sort of art typically down there in Germany, and they love wooden things. But that's a charming item. It says, well, it might even say letters there, I don't know what it is. But anyway, that's what we think it is, it's a little letter, letter act. All it says here mysteriously is foreign. <laughs> that's the British view of everything that's not made in England is called foreign. Then it collapses like that nice and neatly, so you can send it to a friend as a, as a, as a gift, perhaps. So a little bit of mystery about that, but I'm fairly sure it's for holding letters. This is a charming idea. It's a little automata, which is extraordinary, because it's a penguin, with a, little, with a, a mother penguin with a baby there. Um, and it's got this apparatus at the bottom here, which turns out to be a musical box, a little wind-up. But when you wind it up, rather oddly, it does move, but in a rather strange way, so let's have a go. I'll leave it winding so you can hear the gentle sound when I'm showing the other items. But the idea is that slowly turns like that. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Yes, you've got that. When you put it on the table, this is what it does. So that wheel is very slowly turning. I'll speed it up a bit so you can see what's happening across the back. It's slowly turning and making the whole thing turn around. Isn't that charming? And it'll go on for about, ooh, two or three minutes. But that's very, very sweet and very original. I've never seen anything quite like that before. How old it is or how many were made, and I've no idea. Charming. We'll leave it there, making a gentle sound. Here's another wooden toy, which is, yeah, it's one of those lovely puzzles which comes apart. It's probably a beaver. Look at that great big, look at that great big tail it's got. And it's a jigsaw. Does it say anything? No, it's just Evans W160. I don't know what that means. But this is one where you take out the eye and the bit drops down like that, and that comes apart like, oh, this, this way, like that, and that comes apart like that, and that comes apart like, oh, no, this way, oh, back again, and that comes apart like that, no, it goes downwards like that, and that comes apart like that, and then with that assemblage, you have to put it all together again, making sure you put the little eye piece in to hold it. It's a jigsaw puzzle, that's really much more. I've got a snakes of these and other versions of these which are really quite, quite fun something else I received which I haven't yet used because they're cocktail sticks. I don't have any too many cocktails, I don't think, but look what happens. It's a little birdie. It's made of plastic. It's a gull, I suppose. This is a nice metal piece. It's not too sharp, but it will stick into olives or um, little little bits of fruit or vegetables or something for parties. Stick it in and put it in your mouth. And, and it's, it's a cocktail stick, really, but they're very, very sweet. You must clean them, obviously. Wash them before you start. And then put them around the table, and they look very pretty on the table, on a, a display, a little flock of, a little flock of gulls. Nice one. Well, here's something interesting. If I showed you the front of the package, you'd know all about it, but this fooled me, because when I took it out, I was looking at, what I'm pretty sure, is a good solid lens for a large camera. In fact, these do turn around like that, uh, like that, like that. And you have to get it in focus, and then you have to use the f-stop, make sure that's right as well. And then you give up because nothing else works, none of these other things work. Put it on the table, have a think about it. 
Canon lens, it said Canon, yes, well-known company, and made in Japan. Well, of course, the answer, if you haven't already guessed it, is the lid comes off and there's no lens inside. It's a little uh, vacuum flask for keeping things cold or hot. So if I put some liquid in there, um, delicious. That's the idea of the thing. So what a nice packaging for it though, isn't it? Very nice. And it actually got one of those poppy little lids so you can actually slide a bit forward there and just drink it from the, from the top and then close the lid. Very nicely done, but you wouldn't have known it unless you looked at the front of the package initially. So very well made and very elaborate, but great fun, especially if you're at a conference where you're dealing with lots and lots of cameras and people who have camera things. This is a bizarre thing. I've got a wallet which I keep my stuff in like this. It's got about 10 compartments in it. This one, would you believe, has got three times as many, about 30. It's a magician who gave it to me and it's just the sort of thing he loves taking around in his jacket pocket because there's loads and loads. Each of these is an individual, even the top one here, for instance, only goes so far in and then you hit barrier so it actually stops there so every one of those is an individual pocket and there's about 25 of these there's a big space in here there's a big space in here this card here covers one with a, a screen like that and then you turn it over and a whole lot more there with spaces there and spaces there so sometime i've got to something find something to put in those series of cards or toys i've got a little a series of small cards which have fun fun things in them puzzles and optical illusions so perhaps i'll find a use for it but it's certainly uh, a wonderful, wonderful bit of um, stuff for the pockets. Now here's a marvellous thing, what my nieces gave to me. She's in her thirties now, so she's getting quite sophisticated with some of the stuff she shows. And it's a colouring book. Well, there've been colouring books for children for years and years, but just recently, of course, they started making colouring books for adults too. So this is an inverted colouring book. You turn it upside down, now you, what you do is, you do the opposite to what you do with the colouring book, which is open up the pages, see lots of little figures, get the crayons out and colour them in to make them solid. This is the opposite. You've got all the colours here, and what you want to do is get your pen, your little marker pen, the black one, and start doing figures here which fit in with the colours. And the extraordinary idea that is, and lots and lots of whipsy wopsy colours suggesting things, but you've got to actually fill in the details in case you try to do something that it's not being suggested, but it's something you originally thought of as you're doing it. So the colours are provided, what you've got to do is provide the pen work to make the figures. What an extraordinary idea. Very nice stuff. So all things in my collection, I particularly do like inversion, I think, toys. I think that's a lovely idea. So let's get back to the beginning and see if you can make any sense of this thing here. It's got a particular purpose, actually. Uh, but this is our particular poor guess at what it does. Should we have it this way? I have it this way. Oh, I'll keep it like, like that. I need something from here, which is... Oh, dear. Uh, yes, it's an old, whole orange. I've got to <coughs> cut it up like that. Oh, that's magic, isn't it? And then I've got to put a bowl underneath it, so I'll put this on over here. And my thought was, or my colleague's thought as well, is it's a, it's a juicer, but made in, I don't know, 100 years ago, before they had these vertical ones which do it so nicely. So this is the first time I've ever done it, so if I make a mess of it, you know all about it. Here we go. Squeeze like that. Oh, look, look, it is making juice. Look, 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 there's juice in there. Yes, 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 yes. I think we're on the right track here. And I've got to squeeze it like that. Let's squeeze it like that. I think I'll risk drinking a bit of it, even though I haven't actually cleaned this thing before. It's got old bugs in it. They would have died of old age before they made anything for it. Yes, it's, I think it's a juicer, don't you? So let's have a little drink of my juice. Not bad at all, not bad at all. But they have made a few developments over the last hundred years and made other versions, so... But nice to have something like that which is a what's it, because you've then got to work out, work backwards to think what were they designing it for and what could be done with it now. Well, now it could be done, put into museums or presented as we do at um, puzzle parties as a what's it, what's it for. With that lot there, with this off, you're left wondering what on earth you can do. Did you guess it right? You may have a better idea, so let us know.